Hello and welcome to another edition of the Hornet Report. I'm Jennifer Pomerico. And I'm Kevin Kloss. Here's a look inside this week's episode. We'll preview the upcoming Haunted High School event sponsored by the HTG. Our very own Tom Triano hits the halls to see what the students of HHS think about Halloween. Luke Lograno will have the weekly sports report. And we sit down with senior soccer star Zach Bond to talk about his record-breaking career at Homedale. Now here's Kevin with the buzz. Halloween is just around the corner, and some students will be putting on their scariest faces in the second annual Haunted House event. The Haunted High School is run by the Homedale Theatre Guild and is meant for the students of Indian Hill and Village School. I was able to learn more about the event during HTG's zombie training. Let's take a look inside this week's buzz. As you can see behind me, zombie training has begun for the second annual Haunted House. We were lucky enough to be able to sit down with staff advisor, Mr. Cahill, to see what's going on. Well, we just uh, kind of wanted to get a feel for who's really good at screaming and reacting as a victim and who's better as more of a monster zombie type character. So we had them doing different kind of monster faces and monster screams. Then we had them doing different victim uh, chases, if you will. So just to get an idea of who would be best placed where. Well, we had um, kids set up in the 400 hallway and then in the pit. That was kind of like the last place the audience would go. And that's where we had our really big scene set up. Um, the hallway was just people kind of popping out. <laughs> much like that. <laughs> to add to the ominous feel, in the middle of training, the lights went out here. But you know what? I still think that all the zombies were fantastic. What are you talking about, you fool? I guess not. But we were also able to sit down with the student leader of the event, Bobby Christie. Uh, we just wanted to get a feel for how everybody would act. Some people have their ideas of what they think is scary and what's actually funny. Um, at the Haunted House, we try to do both. We want to have funny elements, but we also, it's a Haunted House, we want to scare everybody. So what we did in here was just some fun improvisational games, which got everyone up and involved, trying to scare each other, at playing as a victim, both sides of the equation. Do you feel like you are a real zombie? You tell me. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know how I got out of there alive. <laughs> Great job to all those involved. Proceeds from the event will be donated to the Broadway Cares Equity Fights Aid Foundation, a nonprofit fundraising program in theater. For more information, go to www.broadwaycares.org. Admission is $5. Jen? It's not only the HTGers that get to have all the Halloween fun. Our very own Tom Triano took to the halls of Homedell to find out what students are planning to wear on Halloween in this week's Student Opinion. Tom? So are you a tricker or a treater? Well, I usually just stay home and sleep, so yeah, I guess I treat myself. Yeah. Bad, isn't it? I'm being a grandma. A grandma, huh? You're going to bring in some homemade cookies? Sure. Sweet. Uh, I'm just on 2 chains and chains. He's a rapper. Well, I was planning to make my own costume, but... But that didn't work out, so I decided to just go find one of my old costumes. It was like a ghost or something. Is that it? That's the best you could come up with is ghost? Yes. That, that's pretty boring. I know. I don't care. Well, that's all we got. Thanks, Tom. It was certainly a historic week for Homedale High School. Not only did the girls' tennis team claim their fourth consecutive state sectional championship, but senior Zach Bond also broke a school record in boys' varsity soccer. For more on this week's sports stories, we turn it over to Luke Legrano. Thanks, Kevin. Even though fall sports here at home are coming to a close, the Hornets are still going strong. The girls' tennis team defeated Rumson Fairhaven, Manasquan, and SJV. Their win against Manasquan was the victory they needed to capture their fourth consecutive state sectional championship. Following that win, the girls advanced to the Group 2 state semifinals where they faced powerful Haddonfield, the top-ranked team in New Jersey. The Hornets put up a valiant effort, but eventually lost 3-2. Even in defeat, the girls have a lot to be proud of this season. Yeah, I mean, it's always exciting. Like, even though we've done it every year, it's still always a new experience and always new teams we're playing, so it's always exciting. I think it was great that we kind of gave uh, Haddonfield a run for their money because, uh, I mean, they're such a great team. They're number one, and uh, it was just great for me and my partner to grow as a team and to actually defeat, like, the state champs, so it was great. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, it was the peak of our season. We were playing amazing, and um, just beating them was probably like the best moment of all my four years. And what was it like knowing that you won a section championship all four years here? It's good. It makes me really proud of our team, you know, and uh, just like of ourselves as seniors. For all four years, we've like contributed to this team, and we've made like ourselves a part of it. 
The girls are now 21 and 2 with both losses coming to Haddonfield. Meanwhile, the boys soccer team won their quarterfinal match in the Shore Conference tournament on Tuesday, 3 nothing over Freehold Township. The win improved the boys record to 15 and 1 on the season and moved them into the semifinals where they played top-seeded Jackson Thursday night. The girls defeated Tom's River South to advance to the round of 16 in the Shore Conference Tournament, but lost their next game to the number two seed, Tom's River North. The girls are now 10-8-1 on the season, after defeating Modern Day on Tuesday. In cross-country news, the both boys and girls team finished second overall at the Monmouth County Championship. The girls team averaged 2017 a runner, and the boys team, who is now second in the state, averaged 1649 a runner. Both teams set school records at the meet. The field hockey team defeated Manasquan 2-1 to move to 8-6-1 on the season. They'll travel to Hackettstown on Friday in the first round of the state playoffs. And gymnastics defeated Manasquan and Marlboro to raise their season's record to 8-2. Finally, we take a look at over at this past Friday's football game, Holmdel vs. Manasquan. After falling behind 13-7 in the first half, Holmdel rallied to take a 14-13 lead on the spectacular 48-yard touchdown run by senior Robbie Cantelli. But Manasquan would take the lead of the half and hold off the Hornets 27-14, dropping their record to 3-4. Standing here with Coach P. Coach, can you give us, uh, give us your thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, I mean, Manasquan is a great program. Uh, they're well coached. They're always a good team. Uh, our kids practice very hard this week. Uh, the score is unfortunate, uh, but it's not always about the scoreboard sometimes. It's about the way you work and the way you persevere and come together as a team. And that was kind of our message at the end of the game. Uh, obviously, Manasquan is very good. Uh, we feel we're a good team, too. But I was proud of us. I was proud of the way we played the second half, especially. On Friday night, the Hornets tackle St. John Vianney as they try to qualify for the playoffs for the first time since 2007. Well, there you have this week's sports. I'm Luke Lagrano. In other sports news, October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Many sports teams and students have worn pink and taken part in various breast cancer awareness activities all month long. Field correspondent Jackie Nelson reported on the volleyball team's awareness. Jackie? Thanks guys. The girls volleyball team came out to honor breast cancer awareness in their game versus Long Branch. It is the last game of the season and I sat down with some of the players to learn their thoughts. Congratulations girls on winning your last match of the season. How do you guys feel about the season as a whole? It didn't go as we planned but we're an amazing team and I'm proud of all of us. Yeah, we tried our hardest and that's all we can ask for and hopefully in the future we'll be doing better. The future does look bright for this aspiring team. The girls ended the season with a 2-0 victory over Long Branch, setting the bar high for next year. As for the seniors, some are aspiring to continue with the sport throughout college. Well, since you guys are seniors, do you guys plan on playing volleyball in college? Club. Club volleyball. Yeah, yeah club or Division three. Yep. So. Great, congratulations. Thank you. And there you have it. The girls won their last match of the season, and spirits are high. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks, Jackie. We're pleased to have with us in the studio, senior Zach Bond. Zach, thank you for coming in today. Thank you. Zach, you recently set the school record with 49 goals. How does that make you feel to have the all-time Homedale High School school record? Uh, it's, uh, it's a really humbling moment. Uh, you know, it's always something that you always uh, you want to accomplish in your life. It's, uh, it's a great thing for me. I'm happy to, that it happened, uh, and I really couldn't be more grateful. What has your experience as a Homedale Hornet done for you, not just on the soccer field, but for you as a person? It's definitely made me more humble and uh, grateful for everything that's happened in my life and uh, not taking anything uh, lightly. With the Hornets now in the short conference tournament, what's your prediction for the rest of the season? Uh, just take one game at a time. That's what we're going to do. We're going to show the shore uh, and the state that uh, we're the best team. Well, thank you, Zach, for stopping by. Uh, best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Since Halloween is right around the corner, you may have seen some monsters walking around the halls. Just don't confuse any of those monsters with our new vice principal, Mrs. England. Rachel Hipschman, Julia Shapiro, and Michael Schur sat down with her to talk about her start at Homedale High School for the newbies. You learned that you previously worked in Lacey County. What did you do over there? Um, in Lacey, I taught there for 10 years uh, as a math teacher. During my time there, I was also a swimming coach, a soccer coach, and a softball coach. I most recently was a dean of students there. And I work, I work working closely with their vice principal, uh, handling uh, discipline and attendance and a lot of the same things that I'm doing here now. Well, that sounds interesting. What made you decide to come to Homedale then? Um, well, Homedale had an assistant principal position open and as a dean of students down there, I, I wasn't doing everything that I wanted to do. So, Homedale is a district that comes with a very 
very good reputation and one that focuses on academics and uh, a lot of extracurriculars and I was very interested in the culture here and the students have been great and the staff has been great. I've really enjoyed my time here so far. Can you describe to me what is your education? You know, what colleges did you attend and such like that? Um, I started with my bachelor's at Monmouth University. Monmouth, I majored in uh, education and I also minored in math and then I also received a degree in history and political science. After college, I uh, substitute taught for about, a, about six months and I finished uh, my math degree and then became uh, a high school math teacher. Uh, about four or five years into teaching, I went back and to get my master's and I got my master's with the University of Scranton and I got my master's in educational administration. Um, what do you think of Homedale after your first few weeks of being here and do you have any other plans to further improve this? Um, well, first of all, my first few weeks here have been nothing short of amazing. You guys as students have been great and the staff has been great and, and everybody in the community that I've met has been nothing but accepting and wonderful. As far as, as bettering the school, I, I want to hear from you guys and, and the staff and the community on, on what you guys need and want and, and we'll address all those concerns as, as they come to us. Welcome Miss England. You've already made a difference in your short time here at Homedale High. And that'll do it for this edition of the Hornet Report. I'm Kevin Kloss. And I'm Jennifer Pomerico. Be sure to watch next week for our pre-election show. And as always, we'll be bringing you the week's best at HHS. Also, check out our Facebook page under the Hornet Report. And if you've missed any previous episodes, view our YouTube page at the link below.